away, give it away, give it away now. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. Any Red Hot Chili Pepper fans out there? Oh my goodness, okay, come on. Monday mailbag. Let's grab these headlamps, Woo! Monday, Monday, Monday. All right, we got the headlamps here. Lots to cover, a little admin at the beginning. Oh, we got the, I remember the knife. There's the knife, onward and upward. All right, we got some packages. Info at themoreglobalrunning.com. Email me your questions for next week's Monday mailbag. Send a video or an audio clip. If you do the video, ideally film it in the horizontal uh, position. All right, New York City group run this week. There's the details on your screen right now. All right, Wednesday, 7.15, I'll arrive at Central Park. Very exciting. Oh yeah, the headlamp, we're giving it away. Come on now, giving this away at the end of today's vlog. All right, oh yeah, comment of the day. If you get a comment of the day, a little sticker action, I will mail you a DGR sticker. And then last but not least, still getting a few emails asking about the DGR Distance Classic races, which is about a month away, April 15th through the 23rd, one mile, 5K, 10K, half marathon, marathon, ultra marathon, ultra marathon, vertical challenge, whatever race distance you wanna do, all right? DGR Distance Classic, we do have prizes. It's linked below in the description if you still want to register, all right? There's the bib that everyone will receive, even now if you register past the deadline. Okay, let's go, Joe, Justin, Matt, Thank you for sending in your questions. Let's roll with Joe at the beginning. Hey Seth, Joe here from Michigan. Uh, just a quick question for you. I'm gonna be training for my first 50K this year. Uh, running out on some trails with some friends here in the beautiful uh, woods area of Southeast Michigan, the Pato Trail for those who know it. Um, and just a question for you on any just helpful training tips for a 50K. Um, a marathon's the longest distance I've done so far and think I finally um, maybe figured out the fueling strategy for that in my last marathon buildup, uh, but I know that 50Ks and higher are a different animal. And so, yeah, any great, um, any great fueling tips you have, any great training tips you have, would love to know them. Thanks so much. Keep up the great work. Thank you, Joe, for the question. Now, maybe I'm probably not the best person to be asking this, Joe, but I'm going to give it a shot simply because um, I don't have a, a ton of 50K experience. I think I've raced four of them in my life, maybe three, I think four. Managed to win one of them, which was nice up in the mountains here, but obviously the one in California last month didn't go as planned. Um, so I'm gonna, okay, here we go. Training and fueling for a 50K. I feel like my fueling was actually pretty spot on um, in the race in California. I think I put down eight to 10 gels throughout. I, I'm trying to remember. I just, toward the end, I was just hammering. It was probably 10 gels, okay? I mixed between Morton gels and then goo gels because at the end, I was a little desperate. And so I was just putting what a birthday cake, goo gels. It's the only goo gels. I don't like goo gels at all, but man, the birthday cake, mm, they taste pretty good. As far as training goes, I'm gonna say, so I definitely trained a lot for the lot for the California race. I went up to 140 miles a week. Don't do that. I would recommend at least, kind of like training for a marathon, at least 70 miles a week. And if you can touch 80 once or twice in your training block, I'd say that's great. Obviously, life is busy, you're busy, you might not be able to get to 80, you might not be able to get to 70, but instead of versus a marathon, instead of topping out, a lot of people top out at 20 miles for their long run training for a marathon, bearing in mind it's a road marathon. And listen, uh, Joe, I don't know if you're training for what type of 50K. Does it have a ton of vertical gain? If so, that kind of changes things a lot, okay? How much vertical gain elevation is there? Uh, let me know, Joe, and I'll try and help a little more. Uh, but I think if you can go, so if you if you can if you can go to 70 miles in one week of training, but instead of doing a 20 mile long run, bump that up to 24. I don't think you even have to go to 25, but go to 24. Uh, for your long run at, at one point, if you can too, but at least one point in your training block getting ready for the 50K, that's gonna prepare your legs for the hard part. And that's that last like six, seven, eight miles of the 50K uh, when you need to adapt those muscles and the tendons and ligaments to go in further, to go and pass that, you know, three and a half, four hour, four and a half mile mark, or four and a half hour mark 
um, in the race. Ooh, Joe, huge topic. Thanks for the question. Onward we go to Justin. Hello, Seth and DGR. I got a question for you for content creation. What does your workflow look like from when you stop filming to when you hit publish on YouTube? Thanks, Seth. That is a huge, huge question. Okay, I, uh, I'm just gonna tell you. I drive home, I take the batteries out of all my cameras, I start charging, because guess what? We're doing it all again tomorrow. I put the memory card into the computer, I import, as I'm importing, sometimes it's 30, 40, 50 gigabytes of footage in one day. So as I'm doing that, I'm either foam rolling, I'm refueling, I'm showering, as I, so like efficiency. So I'm always multitasking. That's the only way you can pull off a daily vlog on YouTube. And once it's imported, um, I start editing. And usually it's uh, two hours of editing, depending on the day, I've gotten much, much, much faster. I find the music, I've gotten much, much, much faster at finding music. I wish I could go through the editing process with you, but man, that's like, that's a, that's an hour long conversation. Um, oh, any more D, and then I export, and as I'm exporting, again, I multitask, I'm doing other things. Oh, upload, and then I do the thumbnail after I export. Oh my, God, just huge, huge question. That's just like a little brief overview. Maybe someday I'll film the entire process. All right, Justin. Yeah, there we go. Another question from Justin. I love this. Roll the tape. And one more question is, what is your favorite way to film yourself running when it's just by yourself? Whether that's selfie stick, the drone, or leaving the camera in one spot. What's your favorite methods to get that done? Thank you. Another one that I love. The drone is fun that chases me, but it, you know, you have to listen to it as it's flying behind you. So that's slightly, you know, not quite as fun, uh, but it is fun just to not have to think about it. It's just following you. So that's nice. I'll probably say a GoPro 7 lightweight on an FKT in the 14ers. Just hammering as fast as I can up a mountain with a lightweight camera that, stills put, that still puts out a pretty good image quality. That's probably like my favorite way to film. Uh, it's like a very specific, um, yeah, very specific there. Wow. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm not into like the whole like sticks that, I'm not into the whole like 360 sticks or the sticks that, uh, where it gives the, like the big, uh, anyway, like, I don't even know what they're called actually, but anyway, Justin, good question. All right, rolling the tape to Matt. Hey Seth, it's Matt Turner from beautiful Orlando, Florida, home of the 2024 Olympic marathon trials. Just wanted to check in with you to see if that's still something that might be on your radar for next year. If it is, our house is about two blocks away from the start finish line and we'd love to have you and uh, help you control your eating uh, in the days leading up to the marathon. We got a nice kitchen for you. Um, either way, we'd love to see you if you come down here uh, to film. So I hope you're doing well and uh, thanks for taking my question. And thank you, Matt, for sending it in. So. Uh, yes, the, uh, the Olympic trials are going to be in Orlando 2024. Very exciting. And what he's referencing there is when I stayed at the hotel in New York City, didn't have a kitchen to cook in, and the stomach issues ensued at the New York City Marathon 2021, I believe. It was 2021. Uh, so that's what he's referencing there as far as having a place to stay. We, that's a tip of the day. If, you know, seeking out a big A race, you, you know, if you can find a way to have your own kitchen, cook your own food, eat what you like to eat before a race, really, really important. So I appreciate the offer, Matt. And yes, yes, I will. I will say it is on the radar. All right. In fact, go watch Matt uh, yesterday's vlog talking about two marathons. Was it yet? No, it was like three days ago. Uh, two marathons I registered for um this year. Two road marathons I've already registered for this year. All right, again, info at demoreglobalrunning.com. And we got a little action content here. Oh, oh my goodness. All right, well, here's a bottle I ordered. Uh, didn't make it. This is what I was, uh, one of the bottles I was going to use for the race in California. Didn't make it in time. I ended up using a different one. No. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. Scratch that. Interesting. I'm just looking at the size of it right now. So this is for the Pikes Peak 
races. All right, Pikes Peak races. All right, there you go. Pikes Peak races. My bad. Thank you. This is uh, Fitly is the bottle. All right, because uh, you have to carry water now for the Pikes Peak Ascent and the Pikes Peak Marathon. Okay, now we got, it's kind of nice. Less boxes this week. Uh, let's see what's going on in here. Ah, oh, my, my. Man, lots coming in. Lots coming in from this company right now. We are looking at the Glide. Whoa. Glide Max TR from Solomon. Glide Max TR. Wow. Solomon is really moving in the direction of uh, kind of maximalist shoes even out there on the trails. Glide Max TR from Solomon. Thank you, Solomon, for sending that in. And let me just make sure I'm not missing anything else on a Monday mailbag. Oh yeah, should we give away a give away a little little headlamp action here? Okay, so thank you, Petzl, for sending me three headlamps to test. I don't need all of them, so we're gonna give one away. This is the small one. Oh, I forget the name of it even. What is this name of this one? Oh my goodness, there's so many names out there to remember. It's the small one. There it is on your screen right now. Here's the Ico Core, and then the big one, the Now RL. Okay, I'm gonna go middle ground, meaning. I wanna test the big one in the mountains this summer, the brightest, I think 1500 lumens, and then this lightweight option for when I wanna go fast in the mountains this summer, like this one. I'm almost more excited for this little guy. Therefore, we're gonna give away the, I think about $100 right now, the Ico Core, okay? Join up, MailChimp, all right? Join up, DGR email list, all right? Down below on the website. And you, if you, you, gotta, you gotta sign up today though, okay? Just today, because everybody that signs up today will have a chance to be entered into the drawing, all right? I'll export everybody that signs up for DGR emails today, and I'll pick a winner, and then you will win a Petzl uh, Ico Core headlamp. Again, I think we're looking at about $100. It's really nice, very lightweight. I love the fit, it's very secure, uh, but I just don't need three extra headlamps. So I'm gonna keep two of them to test out more and more, but this one we're gonna give away. All right, question of the day. I've been wanting to ask this a long time. What is one artist or band you wish you could have seen live before they either, the band broke up or the, the band members passed away? Like sad, like Tom Petty, man. I I was so I was shocked. I mean, he wasn't that old when he passed away a couple years ago. Oh, that just broke my heart. So Tom Petty would be mine. Uh, but anyway, who, what band or artist do you wish you could have seen live? That is the Q D Shannon. You get the comment of the day, Shannon. Email me. Good to hear from you, Shannon. Love this Q and A form. It's concise, intimate, focused, and visually interesting too. Cheers. Thank you, Shannon. Appreciate you. And I'm glad you're enjoying these Monday mailbags. Hope you are doing well. All right, we'll go last week's Monday mailbag right here. All right, right there, Monday mailbag. Thanks, everybody. Oh, man. Onward we go. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.